We are Charles P. Allen High School and we just won the regional mate underwater ROV competition, which means we're now going to the international competition, which is at the Johnson Space Center, um, which is a NASA. It swims around um, underwater, obviously, um, and it also has two claws, um, which are used to grab various different um, objects. It also has two cameras, so various underwater tasks. My role for Roboticness was more of the structural side, um, so I designed these skis here that um, keep it standing, um, and I was part of the claw team. And I helped design the claws and build them and make them with a 3D printer too. I'm responsible for programming this robot. I'm the only one responsible for it. There's basically a computer program to control the motors. There are six motors here, and there are separate pieces of code that control signals to the motors to make them spin and then move the robot in either of six directions. This is the actual uh, control station, so everything everything plugs in right here, and that sends all the actual electronic signals from Liam's Xbox 360 controller back into the robot itself, which is then converted inside the robot to electrical pu uh, electronic pulses, which actually go to the motors themselves, which cause them to spin, and by, for example, moving the analog sticks a certain direction, uh, he can actually control exactly how much or how little thrust they're receiving. Uh, we've had access to software here that we can design anything we want, so the students are able to design it and print it, prototype it, if it failed, modify it, go again. Because that's some mind-boggling technology um, that you can just design something on an iPad or on a computer and we'll watch it come to life on our 3D printers. So. I've never used any 3D printers or any programs like that before, so that was really cool. And never really used a drill in my entire life, so, so first for everything, I guess. The whole robot frame this year was completely built by the students, uh, which is a big achievement and a lot of 3D printing. And the judges this year especially recognized the work that they did uh, to innovate in that area. I want to join it because I've always kind of enjoyed this whole technical, mechanical aspect of things. I wasn't much for sitting down and writing, for example. I'd always, I'd always want to do things. What didn't I love? I got to work with new people, I got to take a look at technology I never even thought existed before, and I got to have a ridiculous amount of fun going out and competing with the other schools, and it was just a, it was an amazing experience overall. What I learned, I guess, from building a robot like this and the amount of time we put into it is how it would be like working in this sort of environment and with the type of people and how to collaborate, um, and I guess it showed me a lot about what I want to do when I'm older and I guess pushed me towards maybe doing engineering. I found that I was capable of a lot more than um, I thought I was. There's me and Morgan, we're the only two girls um, on the robotics team. Um, and so to kind of represent for um, girls <laughs> and um, to prove that we're capable of doing things just like the boys are, that was a really important part of it for me that I think um, I was excited to learn. I just think it's really cool how you can build something completely from scratch and then and have it just do stuff. I feel like I achieved something. Winning the competition felt amazing. We've This is our second year doing it and we were just so happy to actually win. But then I had no doubt that we were going to win, I guess so to say, because of the team that we had and the robot that we made together. So I just a lot of joy when we won. To see all of their work, their originality, the, the things that they designed come together. It wouldn't have mattered whether they won or not. The things that I saw them learn to get to this point that I know they're going to take from this, plus build on for next year, phenomenal. You can't put a value on it, really. We're so excited to um, go to Texas and um, see the professional real-life applications of the things we're practicing here at our very own school.